Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining part one of a three-part series of the Remedy Force Automation Using Robotic Process Automation. Today's topic will be leveraging, uh, talk about leveraging the Remedy Force uh, for RPA and non-IT requests. So just a few housekeeping notes. Uh, all are put on mute so that we could uh, not interrupt the speakers. If you have questions in the right hand side, you'll see where you can submit your questions and we'll be taking them at the end of the session and we will leave plenty of time for Q&A. And with that, um, let's get started. So the agenda that we're looking to cover today is, uh, you know, IT service management and, re and remedy force. Yeah, what are some of the building blocks uh, from an RPA point of view? Um, business case on uh, for non-IT requests, and we'll then introduce um, uh, our CEO and co-founder, Uday, for an introduction to Automation Edge. Then we'll quickly uh, swing into a demo and then go into a Q&A session. So as we know, from an evolution point of view, um, IT has been, uh, you know, focused on, on help desk in the, early, uh, in the early 20th century, if you will. First, uh, moving into more of a service desk paradigm as uh, IT matured, and now going into a enterprise service management. But certainly, the service management um, paradigm has now moved into the enterprise, not only for IT functions, but certainly outside of those functions like HR, uh, finance, and accounting, administrative facilities, etc. So with this, um, this is a, an ex a, a view of what a, uh, a Remedy Force service catalog would look like. And as you can see, you have certainly the IT service request. But as we move into uh, extending the service management solution and Remedy Force into the business, you can see several of the service requests. And I'm sure this list can uh, extend quite deeply as you start to support the different business functions. Um, from a, a digital, digital journey, uh, traditionally you would start with some of the low-tech processes and then move into the more of the complex um, and maybe mission critical uh, processes and enterprise processes for automation. Um, this is a sampling and hopefully you're thinking of some of the different uh, functions and departments that you'd be able to identify non-IT service requests like the sample you see uh, on the screen. You know, these uh, non-IT processes would certainly leverage and extend your investment into Remedy Force. Um, as you can see, there's lots of human capital that are used to execute these processes. And, you know, they're also manual and um, mundane and error prone. So as you automate, you can certainly realize the value of, uh, of a digital assistant um, by handling this and automation edge and, uh, and our digital systems and bots, you know, these are great candidates uh, for automation. You know, if you look at the human resource and, you know, lots of different uh, processes, you know, when you automate, you can actually put the human back into human resources, freeing up those resources to actually talk and interact your, with your employees for a better experience. Now, why don't we just move forward and let's see and talk about a business case. So as you can see, um, some of the industry analysts uh, talk about the $20 average for uh, to, to uh, work on a service request. And this is really using offshore. Uh, this is from a large industry analyst. However, if you're near shore or if you're onshore, then obviously that price will go up. Uh, this is a sampling of the different requests and a number of requests. So you can see some of them are quite extensive, some are not. Um, however, you know, this data would reside in your service catalog and could be great candidates uh, for automation. So not only would it um, take out costs, but it will also improve the turnaround time. And the turnaround time is, is uh, looked at in many different ways, but certainly a better experience for the users, um, a, uh, a more uh, speedy process, so because the slow processes um, time is money, 
And when you have an end user waiting for a process to complete or for a report, et cetera, then uh, you know, those, uh, those are all detractors and good reasons uh, for, for automation. Uh, some of the key data points uh, to address a business case um, uh, development of a business case, as well as addressing business issues, is again, um, return, you know, reducing operational costs on, on these processes, improve accuracy, and the governance of standard operating procedures. Because as we know, digital assistants and bot, they don't, they don't have any intent. It's, it's a rule-based type of uh, activity, and the bots follow, follow those rules. Uh, you can eliminate those costly, and costly manual and slow processes. Um, I look at, you know, HR is a good example. You know, when you're onboarding an employee, and if, if that's a slow process, then you're losing productivity from that new employee. More importantly, when the employee leaves and you need to deprovision, then that also lowers the risk of an organization. Um, if you talk about finance and accounting, if there's a process for an end of month closing, where it takes X amount of people and it takes 10 days to do all that aggregation of that financial data in disparate sources, uh, certainly by automating that process can lower the number of, uh, of, of, of human capital that is used for that end of month process and can actually be turned and take it from a 10 day process to an overnight process. And what this really does is it increases customer sat uh, and customer satisfaction could be looked at as both the internal um, uh, stakeholders as well as possibly your customers from, from outside um, to, to in, increase that. And the other key thing is also improving employee satisfaction. Um, the employees that are doing these mundane, repetitive, um, error-prone processes um, could be freed up for more strategic work, for more knowledge work, et cetera. Uh, also improves service delivery and the service experience. You know, you want your end users to have a good experience when dealing with a service request uh, versus not. And again, uh, one of the important aspects is to realign those resources, that human capital, which is very near and dear to every organization and the happiness of those employees. Um, when you start to look at some of the uh, the benefits, you know, here we, we lift them, list, uh, list them in three different buckets, right? Savings for sure. Some are direct savings, some are indirect savings. So when we go to savings and we talk about process time, the reduction to, to uh, execute an end-to-end -end process and reduce the cost of that process is, is key. Uh, you know, time is money, so if we improve the service delivery, if we improve the turnaround time, less waiting, then that improves um, at the bottom line and, you know, can be managed more, more efficiently. From a direct point of view, the scalability of a digital assistant is, you know, they don't go on vacation, right? They're 7 by 24 by, 360, by, by 365, and they stand ready to work all the time. Uh, it removes the human error. Right, we get tired, we make mistakes, um, et cetera. And the cost of a rework of a given process could be pretty extensive. And so, you know, do it right, do it once, and then you will uh, achieve those savings. And the productivity from human capital gains um, by uh, executing processes that are critical to the organization um, could, could be a lot speedier. And again, um, move move those associates into more knowledge and strategic work. Uh, certainly, again, it increases the compliance for standard operating procedures. Um, it increases employee productivity. And one of the key things is customer sat. We all we all want to get rated highly from the, the business units that we serve. Uh, and customer sat is paramount. Employee satisfaction goes a long way for everyone working hard at their jobs. And at the end of the day, it's, a, it's just a much more efficient approach to address these manual and mundane processes. So we enjoy the uh, a technology partnership with BMC Remedy Force. Uh, we are listed on the BMC Market Zone. So you can simply go up to the Market Zone and download the app. We are also listed on Salesforce App Exchange. So we've gone through you know, the process of, uh, of, of being uh, admitted to, to the stores. And we have deep RPA connectors that can be either um, commenced from loading down uh, the automation edge solution, 
and um, or can also be done through automations, uh, automation and solution through what we call our process studio and the Remedy Force plugin. So we also are very honored to be the only RPA provider who are listed in the Gartner Market Guide for IT process automation as well as robotic process automation. Um, and certainly we feel that to, to um, execute end-to-end -end, uh, enterprise non-IT and IT processes, you really need both because the two domains cross well. And so we are one of the only or the only one were listed in the, RP, in the ITPA and RPA guides of Gartner. And with that, um, I take great pride in turning it over to our CEO and co-founder, Uday. Thanks, Ed. Let me walk you through the architecture uh, use cases and case study. So uh, this is how uh, in a Remedy Force environment, when the tickets are created, uh, those are basically assigned to a human queue. So this is how the tickets come to Remedy Force system and then they basically get is assigned to a human queue and the request may be coming are the request may be coming like uh, I want to update is a personal information, leave a timesheet and all that kind of a things. Right? So when the tickets are assigned, the humans are working to get them resolved. Uh, and that's that's a mundane and repetitive task like updating a timesheet or updating a personal information for an employee and things like that. So what we do as automation age is instead of the tickets getting assigned once they raised by the end users, of getting to the human queue it gets assigned to uh, is automation hq and automation H picks up those requests which are automation candidate and go and do action on the target systems uh, like a hrms system a erp system or a crm system how do we do that is using a rpa technology and i will talk about that in the next slide Apart from RPA is that we have a lot of ready actions where you don't have to depend on only RPA, uh, but kind of use is a drag and drop technology to connect different systems like Salesforce or Sugar CRM or Hadoop and things like that. So, uh, so that's what is the overall architecture. And uh, as Ed mentioned, uh, if you want to try this thing, how it works, the automation, uh, with Remedy Force, uh, it's available and it comes bundled uh, with uh, Remedy Force trial, and there's one tab within uh, Remedy Force trial. So this is how uh, RPA technology works. Is you have in in your company, if you have seen uh, the back office operations, uh, there, there are folks sitting and doing a lot of civil chair actions. They go to one system read some information from that system or application they apply some rules and business logic and they go and enter information in another application uh, for example uh, uh, let's take a process of order processing right so where the employee goes to a let's say a salesforce system sees a new order maybe applies some due diligence checks goes to a usps website checks that the customer who has ordered some atoms uh, is, is it a company uh, available and the address is valid or not and things like that and then go and upload that order and put that order into an ERP system, let's say a SAP system. That entire process, what the employee is doing or a back office person is doing is doing a search action, reading from one source, applying some rules and entering information on another system. So if you look at uh, the processes in back office uh, non-IT uh, requests, uh, something like this would be happening in your company as well. So what RPA takes an approach to automate these things is instead of using APIs and SOA and DPM approach, it uses is surface level automation. That means like we humans go into application, uh, put in username and password, click on a login button, navigate to a page, read some value from a CRM, or any other system is the same way software robots or these digital workers which come with automation edge do the same activity they in fact mimic the human actions and that can be automated through a drag and drop action uh, drag and drop approach within our process studio not that you have to write a code or, or a programming you need to do to do the simple automations even if you have complex business rules and business logic to be developed it's it's within the process studio you have to write is your own business logic 
so with that approach uh, it it becomes practically possible to automate every department whether it is front office back office middle office or it operations uh, like in a, in a back office for example creating an employee contract or creating a supplier management but but good thing is you would be able to take your remedy force instance and take it in your enterprise service desk journey even to a front office desk and where they, you can help them get a quotations done approvals done within remedy force, remedy force system and then automatically generating the codes for a customer and sending through that in, in end. so so that's an approach to automate every department and we'll focus more in today's webinar in terms of our back office operations and automation of that and maybe some aspect of front office So this is how we define Automation Edge as a platform. Uh, we are a RPA product, but we go beyond RPA, and, and this is how we go beyond RPA. RPA is just one quadrant or one quarter of the wheel. The other important aspect within Automation Edge are the cognitive capabilities, ability to automate IT, as well as loading the data efficiently. And we do that uh, with a lot of parallelism and multi-threading inbuilt in the pro product, and ability to rapidly API do a rapid API integrations as well. And we have something called as bot store, like you have an app store. Uh, we have is a bot store where a lot of ready action bots are available from our partners, our, ourselves, as well as the individuals. So this is how a Remedy Force catalog looks like, and we'll go in a little more detail about different type of service requests and how they basically can be automated for different functions and departments. So in terms of back office, and let's take an example of HR uh, and, and uh, when, when the employees, uh, for example, if they have to update their timesheet, uh, it's it's a most boring and mundane task and and very time consuming. Uh, so 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 what we do with what we, you can do with automation edge is that process can be automated instead of employee going and filling all that information into your time sheet application or an ERP system. Uh, they submit that time sheet through a spreadsheet and they submit it through a remedy for system and. Once that is kind of uh, uploaded into Remedy for system, Automation Edge bots can take over from there, go and do a work on behalf of that employee and go to a different sections and pages of the timesheet application, fill the information appropriately, and then uh, complete and resolve that ticket. In the same way, it can be done for other requests, like my personal information I want to update. You don't have to give access to those ERP systems and you are basically creating a self-service HR uh, using your Remedy Force system. And through that, the request is submitted about update of personal record. And actually at the back end, bot is going and doing and updating that personal record into the target system. As, uh, and then you can do it for different functions, as I said, is for procurement. Uh, you can do it for vendor creation or supplier creation or invoice processing or for sales where the orders are to be loaded and it is kind of when it is a quarter end, there is a pressure in terms of getting the load orders loaded and uh, automation like this can help you uh, clear that backlog uh, or for finance for reconciliation or a travel desk where uh, or, or for administration department is where the conference room booking or expense booking kind of a things can be automated as well. You can take this uh, for even business operations. Uh, for example, here we have taken an example of an insurance company. And in, in the insurance company, there are a lot of business operations activities uh, happen in terms of new business, uh, policy servicing, uh, and uh, fraud detection or uh, payouts and diff such different things. So your Remedy for system, you can use it and extend it to your line of business also. And they can, when they submit a request, for example, to create a code for a new policy, a Remedy for system, a ticket is generated, and the bot can take that request, go to a backend system, probably underwriting rules can also be codified, go and create a code and send that back on an email to a prospect. 
right? And same way you can do is a payout uh, and uh, get a quotation for payout and actually or otherwise initiate a payout and things like that. Whatever your vertical as a company would be, you will be able to take it remedy force and extend it to your business operation and as well as automate those requests and help your company go into that digital path. So these are the benefits uh, when you are uh, using uh, Remedy Force uh, with Automation Edge. One is that you will be able to do a drag and drop and automate Remedy Force request. And you will see that during the demo, uh, we have a lot of ready action bots library available, which can be like a helpful tool for you to quickly or achieve the benefits of automation. And you will be able to achieve is instead of the current processes in your company, you can look at and see where there are things happening on email, approvals happening on e email and workflows, tools are not available. You will be able to put that all together uh, with Remedy Force where there is business workflows can be built and approvals can be done. And then after that, automation getting triggered and those transaction getting completed faster. And essentially in this process, you are, you are achieving is Uberization and that experience for employees, partners, vendors, as well as your customers. So let me walk you through one of the case study uh, where uh, a customer, uh, it's a government agency, they have used this for uh, basically managing their suppliers. And when the suppliers are added uh, into their system, earlier they used to take is 15 minutes uh, because you can imagine going to an ERP system and adding in a supplier, there are a lot of fields one needs to enter. Uh, with this automation, one is they are able to reduce the cost and these are the numbers they are coming from them. Uh, but more importantly, I would like to highlight this aspect is the, the main benefit is about compliance is where there is audit trail left between who has requested for addition of that supplier, who has approved that supplier, is the due diligence done, uh, the bot is doing that due diligence in this case and bots don't have intentions. So they can actually do whatever is told to them and then go and create a supplier, update the bank account details of the supplier and things like that. So if you see here, uh, these two first two boxes are completed in, in a service management system like Remedy Force. And then the next two boxes are done, boxes are done by the software robots uh, of Automation Edge. And that's where the benefit is, uh, both in terms of cost, but more importantly, in terms of compliance. So, uh, so what we offer uh, to Remedy Force customer is one is that it is available, as I said, with the trial of BMC system. Uh, but beyond that is we offer is a free RPA bot, which is available for free for one of the use cases, that, which is high in volume. You can use it for that, and as well as the trials are available uh, for you. With that, uh, I would like to hand over this session uh, to Seema. Uh, who will walk us through uh, the demo of our product. Thank you, Uday and Ed. Uh, so we will start our demo from this self-service, easy-to-use portal of Remedy 4. You can see how SRs can be conveniently categorized as admin services, common facilities, finance services, HRMS services, and so on. Uh, in large organizations, we have observed how HR, admin, finance, and other non-IT departments are inundated with large volumes of service requests. So in this demo, I will show how HR can be handled and fulfilled by automation aid bot. So we will show some HRMS uh, use cases like employee master data update, time permitting, uh, we could go for a, a get link balance or apply link balance. Uh, however, let me start with uh, one demo on vendor creation. So I'll play this demo video and it shows how this is a remedy force console and uh, request a service. So we request a service for supplier creation in remedy force. And in turn, it creates a supplier in order to be business to it. So this is the service request, the details are being entered. So before we submit these details, let us go to eBusiness suit and check the status of the supplier. So Nokia supplier is not present. So let us come and submit this service request. So 
let us go to the service request uh, page and uh, go to the service request uh, detail page. So the service request is showing open status. And these are the attributes that were supplied during request creation. Let us go to the record details. It is still in open condition. And you can see that a task has been created. So this task of remedy force is actually mapped to a workflow of automation edge. I'll be discussing that in detail later. So now it has been assigned to an automation edge queue. The service request has been assigned to automation edge queue. And the automation edge has fulfilled the request. So if we come to the back to the supplier uh, to the service request, we can see that uh, the user has been uh, the supplier has been created successfully, and we'll just confirm on eBusiness Suite that this uh, supplier has been created. Now, let us go to the next. Uh, before I start the live demo, I would just give a highlight of that demo. So in this demo, we, uh, the service request is submitted in Remedy Force and in turn assigned to Automation Edge queue. So Automation Edge receives the service request and uh, Automation Edge talks to tar target system that is uh, a channel system and checks if employee is valid. If employee is present in HRMS and it's an active employee, Automation Edge robot updates the employee data and sends the results message back to Automation Edge engine, which in turn updates the uh, Remedy Force console and the entire process ends. However, if the employee is not present and not active, Automation Edge sends a failure message and it's assigned to a human queue. So let me let us go live on this. Let us do one of the use cases of employee master data update. <coughs> so before we submit the service request, let us show the status of the particular user that we want to update in <coughs> Oracle HRMS. So we are checking the status for Amy Jane. So right now there's no driver's license assigned to Amy and the marital status is single. Also, there are no passport details. So let us submit the service request. Yeah, so it's almost uh, ready to submit the service request. So the service request has been submitted. Now we go to the remedy console and have a look at the service request list. So a new service request number 96 is visible. And the status is open. We go to the details page. So the status is open. Uh, here we see that this service request created a task, employee master data update task. So I mentioned that this task is actually mapped to a workflow in Automation Edge. So I'll be talking a little more about it as we progress. So the Automation uh, has, the request has now been assigned to Automation Edge queue. As we can see, the status is Automation in progress. So now this is, we are logging into the console of Automation Edge also. Since it has already been assigned to Automation Edge, we'll be able to see the status of this request on Automation Edge UI. 
the request page of automation API. And uh, so it's just uh, about to be picked up. Now, how does it actually happen? The request being submitted in Remedy Force and being picked up by Automation Edge. So there is an integration app. As we discussed earlier, there's an app exchange in which we have an integration wizard app where we map the two. Where we map tasks to a workflow and it gets assigned. So now we can see this. Actually, web GUI automation is going on. Since it was picked up by Automation, Automation Edge is running the web GUI workflow where is actually the robot is entering all the details rather than the human entering and it's pretty fast. So we have completed the automation of entering the modifying the employee details and the status shows complete and the data updated successfully for employee ID 008. You see in the service request console status is closed. And if you see in the details page, we will be able to see that also again data is uploaded. So let us check in our HRMS system. So for our particular user, we can see the new driver's license, expiry date, the status of marital status is changed, and also immigration details. Okay, we'll spend a few minutes to get into the app integration app. So the current screen is the app exchange of Salesforce. And you can see Automation Edge listed on Salesforce app exchange. So I just wanted to highlight this. And we'll go to the Remedy Force administration console now. And here we see that, you can see the task is actually mapped to the workflow. So I pick up any service request. The service request has a task and a corresponding workflow from Automation Edge. And all the parameters of the task are actually mapped to the workflow attributes. You have your workflow attributes on the left and request parameters on the right. So this is how the integration happens. So I can show that the workflow actually that was mapped to the task is this uh, workflow that you see on the screen. It looks quite uh, overwhelming, but actually it is not. Uh, these workflows are built very conveniently by drag and drop mechanism. So we have these web GUI plugins in which if we want to start a browser, we can drag and drop a start browser set. If we want to set a value in a text field, we can set, uh, we can put it there or we can get value and so on. So this integration is completely wizard based. The integration between Remedy and uh, Automation Edge. Remedy Force and Automation Edge. Yeah, so this uh, completes our demo of the product, and I'll hand back to Ed for Q and A. Thank you, Seema. Thank you, Uday. And um, as we go to Q and A, we just want to remind you of the uh, uh, there will be a part three, a part two series, and part three, one on uh, September 11th, and the other on October 4th. So with that said, um, hopefully you have submitted your questions through the uh, through the question uh, box, if you will. Hello, uh, that's how we reach to our Q and A section, uh, and uh, uh, we'd like to take the questions now. As Ed mentioned, uh, there is a question box uh, where you can put your questions, and uh, we'll be able to see them uh, and answer those questions here in this session. Briefly, a few questions have started coming in. Uh, one of the question is uh, about uh, will this uh, automation edge solution uh, does it work only with Remedy Force or will it be able to handle the Salesforce uh, uh, request as well uh, or Salesforce object will it be able to access? So, Remedy, uh, Automation Edge has a rich plugin. Uh, it can read the objects and uh, values uh, and the forms from not only Remedy Force system, but even from a Salesforce system as well. 
another question is uh, in terms of number of uh, amounts of time uh, which would be required for automating the requests uh, which we have talked about today right uh, how does it compare as against building an integration uh, between the two systems so as i said uh, integration moment you basically mention about uh, integration using apis soa bpm it's an effort of multiple months and uh, correspondingly uh, amount of money which is spent in that and the turnaround time impact so instead of that with this approach we have talked about rpa and and in rich integration with remedy force you will be able to achieve automations uh, in uh, we have seen our customers achieving those in weeks time at times to around few weeks being taken for uh, medium complex processes right so the next question is uh, uh, it's a session is informative sending out a recording of these slides uh, the question is can will we send the recording uh, yes definitely uh, so after this uh, webinar you will receive a link where you will be able to go through the recording next question is uh, you said if bot cannot complete the task it will move task to the human queue after addressing the necessary concerns can the support member move the request back to the automation hq yeah you can do that right so basically essentially uh, uh, automation edge uh, is monitoring is the automation queue so whatever tasks are coming uh, in that queue automation edge will be able to pick it up and fulfill those requests whether you submit them first time or after the human hand handoff uh, it is basically again resubmitted automation edge will be able to take it up and fulfill that request yeah the next question is can automation is interface remedy force with office 365 such as outlook active directory etc yeah of course so uh, that's the topic of our next webinar uh, if you see uh, on the on the screen there is a next webinar is where uh, how do you do is it and non it's automation uh, that's the topic of uh, next webinar of remedy force so where we'll show you how this exactly happens and we'll take an example for exa uh, for for some of the processes like employee onboarding in which uh, there there is uh, if you think of it is a business process then there is a process of creating a payroll uh, for an employee and then actually creating access on different it systems and things like that so we have is rich set of ready action bots available in our bot store for office 365 uh, active directory and other such systems uh, so uh, you can do that uh, so the answer to this question is if there are interfaces available for office 365 active directory etc yes we do have them the next question is uh, i mean uh, so the next question is uh, is the ai integration done for this tool i mean does the tool learn from its experience and keep improving itself or do we rely on automation edge team to come up with regular updates to improve the tool a good question uh, again that's the topic of our following webinar where we talk about is remedy force with machine learning ai and automation so there we'll talk about how that learning capability is there within the tool uh, for example uh, complaint tickets uh, it can learn from the past data and will be able to assign it to the right queue and things like that so so the ai and machine learning capabilities are built within the product and uh, those capabilities also can be exploited and another question another uh, important point about this question is is do you have a dependency on automation edge team to build the workflows and and build the uh, basically business process automation no you can basically we have partners globally uh, and those partners can help you uh, automate these things as well as you, you if you have company resources who can learn this technology and uh, if they can they can also build those automations based on new scenarios coming in uh, different business processes changing and things like that and we we do have training 
available uh, and it's available for partners and customers and as well as a certification program on this technology. So the next question is, uh, do you support ADP uh, workforce now? So we do see uh, some of our customers are using our technology with ADP, uh, especially in the employee onboarding process, wherein there is a recruitment system and from that recruitment system, once the employee is going to uh, get a joining date uh, and, and on the first day creating uh, a payroll into ADP systems, they, they have achieved this kind of automation uh, using our, our product. And as I said, RPA technology essentially is, uh, it doesn't matter to us which applications or which systems, whether it is these are standard systems or those are homegrown system. For us, our technology is agnostic to that. As long as it has a web interface or, or a client server application, a Java based application, thick client or a Windows application, it will be able to interact with it and achieve the automation. The next question is, uh, will we be able to uh, use it with our chatbot system, which is available in our company? Uh, yes, uh, so, so, this, uh, so Automation Edge can expose uh, REST APIs. So if you have your own chat application, uh, or you are using one of the systems like Dialogflow or other cognitive platforms, our product can integrate with that and help you fulfill those requests coming in on your chatbot application. And we have seen many of our customers using that. Uh, and uh, basically, first is your chat client application, then is a conversational platform, and then it is once you get all the intent and entities, uh, passing those parameters to Automation Edge and getting that request fulfilled and updating back the results of those on, on, on the chat application. So the next question uh, is uh, for you, Ed. The question is, uh, how do we purchase this software? So will you be able to purchase it from BMC or BMC partner, or we have to go to Automation Edge to purchase this software? Yeah, so the good news is that there's freedom of choice within how you procure the software. Um, we are we do reside in uh, in the BMC market zone in a market uh, store, if you will. Uh, we also have uh, many partners who can also work to support procurement of the solution. Um, and then you know we can always come to us and we can guide you. Uh, you have my email address um, on, on the top left corner of the screen, and certainly we can help you within those conversations and with that procurement uh, journey that you'd like to take, certainly. Right. The next question is, uh, do we have to purchase a separate license for uh, Automation Edge Salesforce app? Uh, the answer is no. Uh, the Salesforce app or, or uh, uh, the app which comes along with Medforce, there is no cost for that. Uh, we only charge for Automation Edge robot agent licenses. And the next question is, uh, can I have approval uh, before uh, the request is assigned to Automation Edge uh, if the business requirement is like that? Uh, the answer is yes. Uh, so whatever is in, within your remedy for system for that particular service request and the task, uh, as long as uh, we, we follow all of that flow, uh, we don't disturb anything in your current remedy for system. Uh, what we do is once that after the approval is the task is assigned to a queue and from there is automation is picks up that request and fulfills it. So we honor the approvals and all of that uh, within the remedy for system which are existing. So the next question is how much is the license? Is the integration assistance included? 
so we have uh, basically our partners uh, have a package service offering and uh, as far as the licensing is concerned so you can contact bmc or your bmc partner or in that case uh, automation edge and we'll help you uh, with the license uh, information and the pricing So the question is, is a one-time purchase or do we need to renew this annually? Uh, this is uh, the prior licensing is same. Uh, it, it is annual, subs annual subscription like your Remedy Force licenses. I think we are already at the top of the allocated time for this webinar today. Uh, there are still few more questions left. Uh, if, if you still have more questions, you can continue to send them on the email ID is mentioned on this slide and we'll be happy to respond. And I thank you all of you for joining today's webinar and I look forward to seeing you again in the next two webinars which are coming up. Thank you.